यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम प्रत्याहार धारण ध्यान समाधया अष्टो अंगानी अकॉर्डिंग टू पतंजलि दीज आर दी एट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ योगा यम और सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन नियम और डिसिप्लिन आसन और पोजिशन प्राणायाम और कंट्रोल ऑफ ब्रेथ प्रत्याहार और डिटर्मिनेशन धारणा और डेडिकेशन ध्यान और मेडिटेशन समाधि और डीप मेडिटेशन फॉर द प्योरिटी ऑफ एक्सटर्नल लाइफ नॉन वायलेंस ट्रूथ नॉन एक्सप्लोटेशन सिलिबसी नॉन एक्विजिटिवनेस आर द रिक्विजिट डिसिप्लिन ऑफ यंग फॉर इंटरनल प्योरिटी वन नीड्स टू फॉलो द रेगुलेशन और नियम ऑफ प्योरिटी ऑफ थॉट कंटेंटमेंट फॉर्टिट्यूड सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्शन एंड सरेंडर टू गॉड we should practice the asanas only after following the tenets of yam and niyam that is self control and discipline sit in a comfortable position you can sit in siddhasan or in padmasan practice pranayam daily in a position in which you can sit comfortably for a long period the benefit of practicing of pranayam will be total physical health it will remove mental blocks and our mind would be so centered as to be able to see the reflection of god in our soul we will experience equanimity of mind and serenity of spirit choose the asan you are most comfortable with siddhasan sukhasan or padmasan place your left heel against the sivani nadi or top of the right thigh now place the right heel on top of the left heel toes against the calves of your legs both knees touching the ground and both hands on the knees three fingers open and the tips of the thumb and index finger touching this is the pose of meditation and enlightenment this is the position in which you should practice pranayam if you are suffering from vat rog or gas diseases then you can alter the pose of the hands to vayu mudra with the index finger touching the base of the thumb instead of its tip we can practice pranayam in this pose also Apart from Siddhasan you can sit in Padmasan with the right foot placed on left thigh left foot on the right thigh if it is possible for you to manage both heels should be placed on either side of the navel this is Padmasan which can also be conducive to pranayam if you can't sit either in Siddhasan or Padmasan then sit in Sukhasan that is a position which you find most conducive to your comfort make sure the spinal cord is straight pranayam can be done in this asana also those who can't sit on the floor may sit in a chair and practice pranayam now we start with a pranayam called bhastrika pranayam take a deep breath and release it with a sense of joy happiness and peacefulness patiently draw in a deep breath up to the lungs up to the diaphragm and make sure not in the stomach remember there is no organ in the stomach no part which can absorb oxygen oxygen is absorbed by our lungs so make sure you draw the breath deeply inside your lungs and not your stomach as we draw in lungfuls of breath with a feeling of purity divinity power and cosmic energy we are inhaling deeply and exhaling you are inhaling deeply and exhaling the pressure during inhalation and exhalation should be the same inhale deeply and exhale with full force and while you exhale take care that you exhale completely you will experience happiness and a sense of achievement all the divine powers energy purity health and all that is sublime in this universe I am taking it in my mind in my breath in my body and in my soul by calling on the honorable acharya karamveer ji padyaraj acharya balakrishnan ji by calling on purity your body is performing 
गर्भस्त्री का प्राणायाम देर शुड बी नो स्ट्रेस द फेस शुड कन्वे एन ईज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड अ ब्लिसफुल सेंस ऑफ अचीवमेंट सेंस ऑफ अकॉम्प्लिशमेंट हाउ डू यू फील कंटेंट इन लाइफ यू फील हैप्पी द सेम इमोशन शुड रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन योर फेस वेन यू डू प्राणायाम वेन एवर यू फील टायर्ड टेक अ ब्रेक एंड रेस्ट एंड देन स्टार्ट अगैन फॉर अ हेल्दी हार्ट हेल्दी लंग्स and all mental stress problems especially those who have problem of depression should do pastrika pranayam those who get migraine pain should do pastrika pranayam migraine pain problem of depression parkinson's disease paralysis will feel relieved of all these problems by doing pastrika pranayam by practicing pastrika pranayam the nerves will become revitalized pran apan vyan udan saman these are the five prana that make the body function by practicing the bhastrika pranayam all the five senses are becoming strong and healthy and are being revitalized with this thought in mind let us start again i'm getting stronger healthier and reinforced and i'm being revitalized pran apan vyan udan saman five fold pran are being revitalized and becoming stronger my body's aura system is becoming strong and my body is becoming enlightened and energized experience the divine splendor the divine glow divine light divine being divine developments and the supreme powers and then practice pranayam by practicing this pranayam a person's internal glow increases our body's aura expands further and this mystical energy the force the aura they become strong relax once again after doing pastrika pranayam in this manner by welcoming the divine power and energy and the supreme being every day you can practice pastrika pranayam for 2 minutes Everybody should practice pranayam every day for 2 minutes. And if you want to practice for a longer time, you can do it for maximum 5 minutes and not more than that. We do not recommend doing pranayam for more than 5 minutes daily. Do this pranayam for minimum 2 minutes and maximum 5 minutes. Experience freedom from chronic diseases and discover a healthy and energized way of life pranayam should be practiced by everyone because pranayam is not only for those who are sick but people who practice it will never fall sick in their life the sick as well as healthy should practice pastrika pranayam for 2 minutes daily now we'll do kapal bhati pranayam in pastrika pranayam we were inhaling and exhaling but in kapal bhati pranayam will only exhale we are exhaling and while exhaling the stomach muscles are contracted and impure breath is expelled from the body the stomach will automatically go in like when we vomit the stomach as a reflex is pulled inside or like when you blow your nose the stomach muscles are contracted inside exhale with force and relax push your breath out of your body with full force strength and might and with this aim in mind that i'm only going to exhale when you exhale your stomach muscles will contract and go inside automatically this is kapal bhati pranayam When you feel tired you can stop. Initially you can start by doing this only 30 times. After doing it 30 times you will feel tired so you can relax. After relaxing for some time you can start Kapal Bhati Pranayam again. <laughs> 